check this out guys we are at the los angeles auto show and this is a very very special concept from kia yeah it's obviously all electric because everything here is now electric at least all the new stuff this is the uh, kia concept ev9 i want to make sure i got that right uh, and it's basically a three-row electric vehicle that uh hopefully will foreshadow what is coming from kia so andre why don't you kind of show them the inside before it closes again Yes, and then we'll show you the outside. We have some specifications, not all. It is, like you, like Roman said, a true three-row vehicle. And this concept is showing what's possible. So this is probably not, well, what you could see in production soon, but it's an idea of what you can have. This is a 27-inch diagonal screen. You got kind of a yoke, almost a yoke-style steering wheel brand new uh, seat and interior design and also dude these seats can be converted you can spin them around into a lounge area hey, when did like driving electric cars become like flying airplanes you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting really old concerned about these yokes uh recently everybody has decided to reinvent everything including the shift knob the radio knob and for the most part this is a roman rant it hasn't been for the better and the one part that is hard to improve on is the steering wheel and yet we have a yoke well eventually it'll drive itself right yeah, but that, <laughs> but that's a long way away. And here's the question, right? Let's say you like to drive like this. Can you do that, or can you do handover? Anyway, let's let's go and show them the rest of the vehicle, okay, Andre? So, uh, what I love about this thing, look at the size of those tires and wheels. Holy moly! And it's also kind of a triangle shape, very futuristic. These are 22s, and obviously it is a crossover SUV, so it has to be a little bit more butch and a little bit more capable looking. Take a look at these lights especially kind of this pattern coming off and on, LED signature lights. It looks very uh, masculine, I would say. Yeah, I love the color. I mean, it's a really cool color. It's kind of interesting uh, juxtaposition between a very bold and very squared and very square jawed concept, and yet a color that is very gentle. Um, of course, you know, this is a concept vehicle, but Kia has been actually building a lot of concepts close to what they introduced. And this is one of the year, um, three row uh, vehicles that's based on the same chassis as, for instance, the one behind you. Show them the one behind you. Well, that is the uh, EV6, and this is just kind of a larger version of that, exactly, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So they're doing these vehicles on the same skateboard with basically the same battery. So we're looking at about 300 miles of range, probably, you know, somewhere underneath the 100 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, and the cool thing about, like, that vehicle is it's got relatively quick charging, uh, and that one is supposed to be 0 to 60 and, you know, three and a half second ish i believe yeah and um the kia kia uh, people are saying that 350 kilowatt charging speed for fast charging is possible which is kind of where the leading edge is right the porsche the porsche Taycan is currently at 270 kilowatts yeah, charging exactly. so 350 is a really good uh speed i noticed this andre this is something that forever we've been promised these are rear view mirrors that are basically cameras uh, and not, of course, regular mirrors. Uh, and currently, uh, you know, this is something that, for technical reasons, is not really le legal here in America, but really cool. Uh, so at some point, I think we will have cameras instead of rear mirrors. I, you know, it's coming. Well, it's better for aerodynamics, better for efficiency. It's an electric vehicle, so it needs to be efficient, right? Yeah, let's show them the rear of the vehicle because it's pretty cool. Dude, this light signature is out of this world. It just goes into the hatch and up and also very angular. Um, it's uh, about the same size as the Telluride, correct? That's right. Uh, and, um, you know, much more <laughs> yokey. <laughs> much more futuristic, I would say. I love it, Andre. I think it's really cool. I'd love to put like, you know, maybe a two inch lift on the thing. Uh, obviously. Knobby tires. Yeah, knobby tires, put some like uh, all terrains on it. Uh, you know, a rooftop tent and you got yourself like the ultimate uh, Rivian fighting vehicle that you can take off road. Uh, will it go off road? We don't know. When will it be available? We don't know, uh, but I hope they build it. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, they're on the way. Let me give you a wide view of it. I think they're on the way. I mean, they have already a production version of the EV6, which is basically a passenger low slung crossover. Uh, why not have this within a couple of years? I think it makes sense. Yeah, the EV6 is a Kia's version of the Ionic 5, which is this really cool new electric car that Hyundai is building. Of course, the two companies are sister companies. Uh, and they have both been just slamming it out of the ballpark, whether it's the Palisade or the Telluride, or now with Hyundai, the Kona or Elantra, and with, of course, Kia, the EV6. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, these guys, every car they're doing, including one of my favorites, which is the Stinger, right? Which is, you know, going away, unfortunately, but a really great GT car in the old school of internal combustion engine. But this, Andre, I think this is the star of the show, wouldn't you say? I would agree. So let us know in the comments below, what do you think about the EV9 concept? Do you like it? Do you like the design? Should they build it? Let us know. Also, tfl-studios.com is where you'll find in one place all of our coverage, including our write-ups, our videos, our podcasts, and all of our videos in one place as a web app. There you guys have it. Another video from the Los Angeles Auto Show. Stay tuned for uh, TFL Now, as much as we can cover here. Uh, and, you know, you saw it first. Where, Andre? On TFL Now and tfl-studios.com.